Lesson 105 on my website, Introduction to Algebra, Part 1. Algebra is just the study of calculating an unknown value in an equation. Let's take a look at the equation here, x minus 5 equals 2. Now, first of all, we call this an equation simply because it has an equal sign. Now, what this means is that the left side of the equation must equal the right side. We want to keep that in mind as we work with algebra because that will always be the case. The left side has to equal the right side. You can think of an equation as an old-fashioned balance scale. We know that if you've seen an old-fashioned balance scale, the two sides are always in, ba in balance. And if we're going to do something to one of the sides, we have to do the exact same thing to the other to keep it in balance. And we're going to be doing the same thing in algebra. Now, this x that we have here is called a variable. x is basically an unknown value. We don't know what x is, but we need to do different things to figure out what value of x will make this equation true. Now when I say true, I mean the left side will have to equal the right side. And that's what algebra is all about, solving for an unknown, figuring out what value it has to be so that the equation is in balance. Now, it's important to understand that x does not mean multiply. In the earlier grades, we used the little x to mean multiply. You need to totally abandon that idea now that we've gotten to algebra. This x could have been any letter of the alphabet at all, but very often in algebra we use x. It's just kind of the way we do things, but in your textbook you'll see that they use other letters sometimes. It could be any letter at all. This x does not mean multiply. It's just an unknown value that we have to solve for. Now, in this particular problem, you probably could do it in your head. I know many of you are saying, well, I, I can see that x is 7, so I'm done. Granted, this is easy, but we need a certain procedure to follow, because what if these numbers had been more complicated? Or what if some of them had been negative? Then it gets really hard to do it in your head. So let's see what the procedure is. In algebra, the general procedure is that we always want to isolate x on one side of the equal sign. Once x is by itself, we'll, know, we'll be able to see exactly what x is. So keep that in mind as you work in algebra. No matter how complicated it may look, we need to keep doing things in an effort to get x by itself. Now, here's how this works. First I'm going to assume that x is by itself on the left, but then I see that it's not. And I have to say to myself, well, what's being done to this x right now? What's being done to it is that we're taking away 5. So pretend x is a certain number of jelly beans that you have in front of you and they're just sitting there, but now all of a sudden somebody took 5 away. Well, we need to undo that. We need to get it back to the way it was before that 5 was taken away. Now, in algebra, we work with what's called inverse operations. Now, that's a fancy word, but all it is is that we're going to do the opposite of whatever we see happening. So right now, we see that 5 is being taken away from x. We know that the opposite of taking away 5 is adding 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 5 on the left. And that will undo, it will reverse, the taking away of 5. Now, it's very important to understand that in algebra, whatever we do to the left side of an equation, we must do to the right. Think of the old-fashioned balance scale. We have to keep it in balance. So if we're going to take weight away from the left, we have to take the same, the same weight away from the right. If we're going to add weight on the left, we have to add the same weight to the right. So the moment I put plus 5 here, without even thinking, I have to immediately put plus 5 here. I did the same thing to the left as I did to the right. Now, on the right it's easy. We just have 2 plus 5 is 7. On the left, now sometimes students get a little confused with the way this looks. Never mind how I wrote it, it's just important to understand that we're dealing with x, some unknown quantity, take away 5, plus 5. So we know from experience that if you take 5 away, but then you put 5 back, they cancel out. Now very often, we'll cross this out and just say, well, the 5 is cancelled. That's true in a sense, but it's important to understand that negative 5 plus 5, or minus 5 plus 5, equals 0. So it's not so much that they disappeared, it's just that in the world of addition, we don't have to bother to write the 0. We know that. We're really dealing with x plus 0, we just don't bother to write the 0 but you could think of it as canceling out. So we're left with x on the left, and I'll bring down my equal sign. And we're done. I've isolated x on the left. I can see that it equals 7. So we got our answer. It's important to understand that it's not just that we got an answer. 
In particular, we figured out the value of x which makes the original equation true. It's not just that we did some magical steps and got some magical number for an answer. We figured out the value of x that makes the original equation true, meaning the left side equals the right side. Now, get into the habit of checking your answer. At the very minimum, we want to check in our heads. Ideally, if there's time, you want to check on paper. In fact, your teacher may require. Here's how we do a check. Always start by rewriting the original equation. It's important to understand that no matter what we did here, we have to go back to the original equation. Now, I'm going to do what's called substitute. I'm going to substitute the value of x that I think is correct into the original equation. Sometimes students call that plugging in. They'll say, well, I'm going to plug in my value of x. That's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute that value of x, and I'm going to put it in parentheses, which is totally optional, but it just helps me see it's kind of a reminder that this is my test value. I'm testing to see will 7 work. And very often we'll put a question mark here to show we're not yet sure. Does the left side equal the right side? Here we can see that 7 minus 5 is 2. The left side does equal the right side. And so that means that we got a correct answer. It's very important to understand that in our check, if the left side did not equal the right side, then it would mean this answer is wrong. So if the check doesn't work out, don't even bother to put this as your answer because it's definitely wrong. The whole point of doing algebra is we need a value of x which will work in the original equation, which means the left side will equal the right side. Okay. This was just a very basic introduction to algebra, but the truth is this is really all algebra is. We're just going to use these concepts in slightly more advanced ways. So this was part one. Be sure to see the upcoming lessons where we'll take this further.